right, I want to break this down here. Your SpongeBob movie, you got all these people with the buckets on their heads. Obviously, they're under a form of mind control. How come you have all these TV shows and movies with these mind control devices and mind control truth drugs and all this shit? They're ribbing in your face. You're under fucking mind control. You're under the worst fucking kind of mind control because the earth is flat and you're inside of the fucking matrix, but you're so far in fucking denial, you can't see a goddamn thing. So I can say the words mind control or flat earth and it's just taboo to you and it scares you away because you've been brainwashed from birth. Everything in society is the point you away for, from the truth, to make fun of it. Haha, <laughs> he believes in mind control. Haha, <laughs> he believes the earth's flat. It's everything in your fucking society. Just watch. Yeah, let's zoom into outer space for no fucking reason. To rub this globe in your fucking brain. The earth is flat. You live in a bubble. You live under a dome. It's on the first page of the Bible. They rub it in your face with the St. Louis arch. They rub it in your face in the Simpsons movie when they get shoved under a dome. They put a dome over Springfield. It's in the Hunger Games 2 where they have a force field dome. It's in every fucking movie, every fucking TV show. And here it is right in Spongebob. Your little kids watch it. You live in a bubble. You see the disco ball thing in the center? What's telling you is that Jesus shows the way to heaven because Jesus is the sun and he places his light into this hole called the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane. And out comes the astral jet, the northern lights. This is the green code you see coming down the screen in the Matrix movies. It's, you got the light, Jesus' light goes into the center, the northern lights comes out and that's projected onto the dome, onto the sky. This is what creates the stars. It's like a planetarium. You see this shit? You're in the matrix. We're all having the same dream together. You're dreaming right now. And finally, straight lines are masculine, curved lines are feminine. You have all this gay propaganda and all these fucking kid shows and it just makes me sick. See, I don't g hate gay people. I don't really give a fuck. But why do they have to put this shit in our fucking children's TV shows? It's fucking obvious. You can't fucking... You can't deny this shit. See, here you got the transgender shit. You got Pat Patrick, who's a male, dressed up as a fucking woman. That's fucking disgusting. This is on your kids' shows. Nickelodeon. Welcome back to my channel. This is part 10 of my personal flat earth experience. And um, I have a, a, a wonderful gem for you today. I actually had to uh, take a break in between filming and have a small laughing fit because this science book right here is even funnier than the National Geographic book that I've been tearing up for the last couple weeks. Um, I can't tear this one up physically like I could the other one because this is actually a library book and it doesn't belong to me. But I'm going to theoretically tear the new asshole for you and it isn't going to be very hard. And at the end of this video, you're going to begin to see how duped they have you. You're going to be able to see how they are mocking you with this science book. This science book, whoever made it, everybody who's responsible, everybody who has a hand in making this should be utterly fucking ashamed of themselves. Listen to this nonsense. We now know what the core of the moon is like. The core of the moon. And I thought that science books in textbooks in high school proclaiming what we know of the core of the earth and the sun to be we're a little bit loony but this book right here this is taking it to a whole new level let's check this out this is what they say the structure of uranus is and it's funny because inside the core it says here like neptune Uranus may have a diamond sea around its core, with diamond hailstones raining onto it. The science book is telling you that there are diamonds in Uranus, and you haven't begun begin to wonder like why they're making fun of you. You haven't this shit's seen fucking the funny picture people, here that it? they're. They're poking literal diamonds in you your fucking and everybody anus. Who reads this whole <laughs> shit. No, it, it doesn't stop there. It gets better. Oh, but look at this. Oh, before we go on. Oh, 
they take these pictures from Earth, of Earth, and then they crop out the back of it, and they paste in a little Saturn right there. And then they're like, oh, hey, this is, this is some other shit that's happening out in space. No, it isn't. You made that shit up, and we can see, obviously. But no, it gets even better, because check this out. This is the innermost of Jupiter's moons. Oh, goodness. Look at this picture. And hear what it has to say, okay. The red fans, um, these, these red fans it says it has, these are volcanoes made of short-chain sulfur molecules from recent eruptions. They know what's happening on Jupiter's moons, but they don't know what's happening at the bottom, bottom, bottom of the ocean. Does that ever make anybody wonder? And then it says up here, that the yellow and green spots are likely due to pure sulfur. Now, you have to ask yourself, does that look like it's a moon? Because it, it looks like a Christmas ornament that was kicked around a trailer park last year. That's what it looks like. And then they took a picture of it, and they were like, oh, this is really fascinating science. No, it isn't. You're lying to us. The indoctrination goes really far. In fact, I'm probably going to be doing parts 11 and 12 on this as well. And I wanted to mention a couple things in passing here that anybody else might want to go look into, especially if you're making Flat Earth videos. You might want to look into some of this stuff to add into your videos. Um, I was thinking on it today, and it included things like Orbit Gum, Milky Way candy bars, and then these three television shows, some of which most people don't remember, but um, Third Rock from the Sun, the Big Bang Theory, and As the World 